Hey, hey, welcome to today's video. So yesterday I talked about anti-aging products, routine ingredients to focus on for anti-aging. And today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite fermented products, fermented toners and essences. And ferments are wonderful for your skin. So I'm gonna to link to all of these below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter as well. Okay, so I'm going to talk about first really quick my personal favorite ferments because there's lots of different ferments. I mean, just one of these products in and of itself has 50 different ferments. Some of them stand out above from the, uh, out above, abroad from the others. Some ferments are more researched than some other ones that are uh, not as researched. So my personal favorite ferments, rice ferment, uh, aka sake, wonderful antioxidant, soothing, brightening ingredient, wonderful ferment to see on any ingredient list. There's Bifida Ferment, great for soothing, hydrating, hydrating and barrier repairing. So if you have a weakened uh, skin barrier, uh, it's, it's expressed usually in redness, flakiness, irritation, itchiness, things like that. So some good barrier repairing ingredients are helpful for that. And protecting from UV damage. Uh, another favorite of mine is Saccharomyces Ferment. Uh, it's soothing, it's great for anti-aging, hydrating, uh, it's also great for brightening, so if you suffer from hyperpigmentation, dark spots, a lot of these do that. Saccharomyces is wonderful for that. And then Galactomyces, which is potentially, it's also known as Patera, it might be the oldest ferment, uh, started by SK2, which really became popular in Japan and now throughout. So that Patera, it's great for soothing, it's great for repairing your skin, uh, antioxidant, it's great for brightening your skin, it's great for protecting your skin. It's probably, between that and the rice, it's probably the most researched uh, ferments out there. So these are a few that I really want to focus on uh, for my video for today. So my first one that I love, and you can see I loved it because I finished it, was the Cane Kombucha Balancing Ampule Toner. In my opinion, this one's great for dry skin types especially. Uh, it contains a kombucha ferment, which is anti-aging. It also has texture repairing properties. So if you notice uh, like texture issues on your skin, it can help with that. It's also great for barrier repairing. And it also contains some other nice hydrating ingredients such as panthenol and beta-glucan, two of my other favorite ingredients. And this one's also pretty darn affordable. And I have ordered a uh, repurchase on this one. So I really, really enjoy it. Okay, next up, in my opinion, this one is great for acne prone skin because of the inclusion of hypochlorous acid and that is the Holly Frog Utopia Microfloral Toner. Uh, so it's got that hypochlorous acid in there which is be made popular mostly by T Tower 28. They come with a spray that was like 30 some bucks with basically that ingredient in there and like two other things and uh, it sell sold a lot and it worked very well for people. And then this one also contains a couple other ferments, uh, Zymomonious Ferment Extract, which is a humectant, and then Lactobacillus Ferment, which is a soothing, soothing and bear repairing ferment. And then it also has some nice ingredients, honey extract, birch sap, and aloe. So if you have skin that's acne prone, uh, perhaps this one might be able to replace that Tower 28, or there's lots of dupes or alternatives to that Tower 28 because it's such a cheap ingredient. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to spend that much money on the Tower 28 product, but uh, this one is worth checking out. Okay, next up, this one I repurchased. I believe this is my third bottle. Might be my fourth. Uh, and that's the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. Yes, Micro Essence. So uh, this one is, in my opinion, it's great for all skin types. It's got Bifida Ferment, which is that soothing and hydrating ferment, Saccharomyces Ferment, and then also rice ferment. So it's got uh, three of the ones I love the most uh, on that list. I listed five that I love, and this one's got three out of five. So I think in the Meatloaf song, two out of three ain't bad. What about three out of five ain't bad? And then I can sing it like Meatloaf. Is Meatloaf like famous around the world, I wonder? Cameraman, what? does everyone know who Meatloaf the singer was? Uh, no. no. Well. If you're in the U.S., you might know who he is. I'm probably dating myself. You're, you're too old. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, okay. It also contains a whole list of amino acids, which are great for barrier repairing as well. Love, love, love this stuff. Uh, I also love the serum version of this, and I've repurchased that multiple times as well. 
Okay, next up, this one I repurchased one time. It's got a very minimal ingredient list, so I would say this is great for most skin types, including sensitive skin, and that's the Cynic First Treatment Essence. You notice a lot of these are FTEs, Facial Treatment Essence, First Treatment Essence. Um, anyway, whatever, they're FTEs, that's what they call them. So this one contains Galactomyces Ferment, which is one of my favorites, brightening and protecting. Um, it also contains niacinamide and purslane. It's really nice. Probably out of all of these, it's probably got the shortest ingredient list, I want to say. Uh, but certainly worth checking out. Really, in my early skincare days, this was one I just powered through. And uh, so, well worth checking out. Okay, a couple more. Next up, I've got the Dr. Sirico Vegan Kombucha Toner. This one, in my opinion, is great for drier skin types or perhaps dehydrated skin types. So, in here, we've got Saccharomyces Ferment Filtrate, which is great antioxidant soothing. Uh, then it also has several other great ingredients. Green tea is in there, cocoa extract, centella. This one's really, really hydrating. And uh, if you have dry, dehydrated skin, it's really great, especially in your evening routine. I really like using it there. My morning routine, it takes a while to soak in, especially if you pat it on very thick. So I like using it at night. Okay, next up. So I want to say this is my fourth or fifth toner from this specific brand fourth different one and that's misha this is a time revolution first essence so fte first essence first treatment essence 5x uh, this one in my opinion is really geared towards oilier skin types but my dry skin appreciates it especially like in the summertime so this one contains just yeast ferment which is hydrating and then it also contains bifida ferment soothing and barrier repairing um, and then also contains niacinamide, which is probably why I think it's more geared towards oilier skin types. Niacinamide can be great for anti-acne and then uh, for oily skin and preventing too much oil production. So this one's really nice. They've got tons of them. Uh, yeah. Okay, next up. So this one I will uh, add. This does contain fragrance from Citronella and I think linalool. So I want to preface it by saying that. The number's in number three, Super Glowing Toner. Uh, the scent is light and herbal. It doesn't bother me. I'm on the sensitive side to fragrances, more so floral scents, but something like this where it smells more herbal didn't bother me as much. But if you have sensitive skin, be aware of that. So in my opinion, this one's great for de dehydrated or dry skin types. And I'll just mention it contains over 50 different ferments. I wasn't going to list every single one of them. If you're interested in I did a full review of this one. So you can certainly check that out. And I will go into detail on every single ferment, but Overall, it's really nice. Numbuzin has come out with a lot of other products which have been really wonderful and a lot more fragrance-free friendly products. And then two more runner-up. And I will say runner-up because A, with for this one, I haven't had a long enough chance to test it to give it the full, full review, but it's the uh, Ordinary Saccharomyces Milky Toner. It's very nice. The bottle is very tiny compared to some of these other ones. So keep that in mind. It might look super cheap at first, but when you start calculating it it might not be as cheap as some of these other ones with bigger bottles but this one's so far so good i find it to be much more exfoliating than these other toners so if i use this at my, in my morning routine i find myself having to rinse off a little bit because i find it very exfoliating i'm not exactly sure why it's more exfoliating than some of these other ones but uh there we go but so far it's very hydrating and everything else like that and then last but not least, on the more affordable side, the Casarex Galactomyces Tone Balancing Essence. This one's very nice. It's around $11, $12, so uh, you can certainly check that one out. So, I mean, I think as more research happens, I think more of these ferments will be proven to be potentially more beneficial than others. I mean, you can almost ferment anything and, you know, call it good for your skin, but some are just more studied and more proven and some, <clears throat> excuse me, some I've had better luck with, uh, especially like the, the cane and the Neogen, uh, hands down. These are probably my top two favorites. And then the Holly Frog is also absolutely wonderful for oily skin and acne prone skin. So certainly worth checking out for those skin types as well. Uh, there's tons of them, but these are my favorites at the moment. So I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you have any favorites what they are and what you like about them, or if you have any favorite, just specific fermented ingredients and what they are. So uh, leave a comment, love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.